Hello, this is David Wilcoxon, and in this video, I will share my role in explaining Bible prophecy to help you understand my approach and perspective. My primary role is to show you that up until a few centuries ago, the great theologians taught the historicist narrative of prophecy fulfillment. It's only during the last few centuries that the futurist and preterist explanations of Revelation have become popular as the enemy works to deceive the end time saints. But during the 17th through 20th centuries, Adam Clark, Albert Barnes, E.B. Elliott, Henry Grattan Guinness, James Aiken Wiley, Joseph Benson, Matthew Poole, and other theologians gave historicist prophecy fulfillment explanations. They taught that the prophecies in Revelation have been in the process of being fulfilled since the first century. They did not teach that Revelation was about the events of the first century when judgment was poured out on the unbelieving Jewish nation, which is the preterist view. They did not teach that most of the prophecies in Revelation would be fulfilled during the last seven years, which is the futurist view. But the enemy has effectively hidden their witness and promoted the false preterist and futurist narrative to mislead the end-time saints. So my role is to show you how most of the prophecies in Revelation have been fulfilled in exacting detail during the last 1900 years. On the RevelationTimelineDecoded.com website is a one-page Revelation chapter summary that shows what has already been fulfilled, where we're at on the timeline, and what will happen next as we await Messiah's return. On that website is a Revelation Fulfillment Summary, which provides a detailed summary of the prophecies being fulfilled during the last 1900 years, where we're at on the timeline, and what will happen next as we wait Messiah's return. And the video series and book provide a verse-by-verse -verse detailed explanation of the prophecies. I highly recommend that you read the writings of these historians, especially Romanism and the Reformation and History Unveiling Prophecy by Henry Grattan Guinness as he fought the good fight in trying to counter the futuristic explanations which were starting to take hold in the church in the 19th century. Recommending those works brings us to my next role, to explain the historicist narrative in a concise, easy-to-understand format. E.B. Elliot wrote the epic 2,000-page work called Hore Apocalypse, which means Hours with the Apocalypse, and it has 10,000 reference citations in his explanation of the fulfillment of Revelation. I have those four books, and his writing style is challenging for me, and most people aren't going to read that many pages to get the explanation. I've read Albert Barnes' notes, explanatory and practical, on the Handbook of Revelation, which has 506 pages. I've read a dissertation on prophecies that have been fulfilled, are now fulfilling, or will hereafter be fulfilled, by George Stanley Faber, which has 414 pages. I've read Joseph Benson's The Book of Revelation Explained. I've read John's Revelation Unveiled by Francis Nigel Lee. I've read Code Word Barbalon. Danger in the Vatican, the Sons of Loyola, and Their Plans for World Domination by P.D. Stewart, which has 550 pages, and Code Word Barbalon Book 2, which has 582 pages. I'm currently reading The Divine Program of the World's History by Albert Close, which has 230 pages, and I have The Last Times and the Great Commission by Joseph A. Seiss, which has 432 pages in the queue of my reading stack. So I'm always striving to learn more. And I don't mention reading those books to impress you, but to let you know that I've done the hard work of gathering all of this information and have provided it in the Revelation Timeline Decoded video series and book. And those teachers don't all agree on every point, but in their writings, you see the theme of the historicist explanations. On my Revelation Fulfillment chart, I show how the prophecies have been fulfilled on a timeline so that you can see how the four chronological layers of Revelation interact to give the full vision. And you can download a PDF copy of it and print it out at revelationtimelinedecoded.com. Some people proclaim that my 476-page Revelation Timeline Decoded book is too long, while others complain that it doesn't give enough references. This brings up my third point about my role. To provide enough information to prove the fulfillment of a prophecy while keeping the explanation fairly concise and easy to read. People can read Henry Grattan Guinness and E.B. Elliot for more information and references. My books and videos aren't perfect works. I've never proclaimed to be right about everything. 
That said, I wouldn't share an explanation if I didn't believe that it's true. I'm not a brilliant man like the people mentioned in this video, but I'm smart enough to understand and validate what they taught with scripture and history. I dare say that some prophecy teachers today are too smart, meaning they overthink things and miss the mark. A perfect example is Pastor John MacArthur, who has written many Bible commentaries and books. Yet somehow, he doesn't teach the historicist narrative of the 70th week of Daniel, the Olivet Discourse, and Revelation. He doesn't properly identify the office of the papacy as fulfilling the prophetic roles of the little horn of Daniel 7, the son of perdition of 2 Thessalonians 2, and the Antichrist beast of Revelation who leads the harlot church of Rome. He seems very well studied and smart, but his prophecy fulfillment explanations miss the mark, and they serve to deflect blame away from the Antichrist beast Pope and false prophet Jesuit Superior General. This brings up the fourth point. I think I'm blessed for not attending Bible college or seminary. People look for credentials, and they criticize me because I haven't gone to those formal institutions. But the enemy has infiltrated those places, and most teach the false futuristic prophecy fulfillment narrative. Dallas Theological Seminary was co-founded by the protege of Cyrus Schofield, who promoted the false futuristic explanations in the Schofield Reference Bible. Because of that, DTS has misled generations of pastors who trust their professors to be correct. This includes DTS graduates Hal Lindsey, Chuck Swindoll, David Jeremiah, and Thomas Ice of Left Behind fame. The fifth point is that I don't offer different theories about how prophecies have been fulfilled. I teach what I believe is true. That approach seems to turn some people off as they rationalize that I think that I'm a know-it-all and I'm right about everything. I don't think those things, but I am confident in the explanations because I've spent much time proving them. Confidence is not arrogance. My role is to present what I believe to be true and provide the evidence for the fulfillment. Your role is to be open-minded, to consider the explanation, to compare it to scripture and history, to pray about it, and to discern it for yourself. I've made many memes to simplify the explanation, including a series that explains all of the major prophecies in Revelation. I wrote one page and two page PDF summaries about the fulfillment of the 70th week of Daniel 9, the Olivet Discourse, and Revelation to help people see the big picture and to share the explanations with others. I published a video series about the 70th week of Daniel 9, the Olivet Discourse, and Revelation. I've converted them into audios to make it easy for people who dislike reading books. I offer the 70th week of Daniel 9 decoded, the Olivet Discourse decoded, and Revelation Timeline decoded summary as a free PDF to make the explanations accessible to everyone. I provide a learning track to guide your path in learning prophecy fulfillment at BibleProphecyDecoded.com. I've made it as simple to understand as possible but it still takes some time on your part to go through the explanations. The sixth point is that I don't use flashy graphics, hype, scenes from movies, etc. to explain the fulfillment of prophecy. Many popular YouTube channels that teach prophecy fulfillment have videos that dazzle the eyes, but sadly, they teach false prophecy fulfillment explanations. Straightforward explanations without all of the dramatic graphics works well to publish the explanations as audios and having the text on the screen helps with comprehension and retention. The design of the book covers are not flashy, nor are the websites. The truth of the fulfillment of most of the prophecies in Revelation during the last 1900 years is exciting enough. We see how Messiah foretold major events that have shaped our world during the last two millennia. We see validation of the Bible in the fulfillment. We see what the saints have faced as the enemy has fought against them, and they stayed true to the faith. And most importantly, we see the glory of Messiah in the fulfillment. Lastly, I've tried not to make the ministry and explanations about me. I aim to glorify our Heavenly Father and beloved Messiah with the explanations. I use one picture on the websites, YouTube, and Facebook. I don't feature myself in the videos, but rather I focus on the explanation and the glory of Messiah. My role is teaching the historicist narrative of prophecy fulfillment and exposing preterism and futurism deceptions. I'm not trying to get rich by selling books, as I give the explanations away for free as a book PDF and in the video series. 
but my role is not paying to ship free books, so I make them available as a printed book that people can order if they prefer that format. Income from book sales helps pay for website hosting, domain names, email distribution services, printing services, and audio podcast hosting. But since the historicist explanations aren't very popular, as the church has been misled by preterist and futurist explanations, I don't sell that many books. If you benefit from the explanations and the many resources that I provide, I could use your support so that I can continue working in full-time ministry. The BibleProphecyDecoded.com website has support options. Hopefully, this helps you understand who I am and my role in explaining Bible prophecy. If this kind of information benefits you, please like the video, comment, and share it with others, as this helps get the video ranked so that others will see the explanations. You can subscribe to the channel if you want to be notified about new videos as we go through this interesting year of 2024. That's all for today. I love y'all. Shalom.